Tiger Lily squad was popping. What's popping? What's popping? Don't mind the clip. What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? Was hey? What's popping? What's popping? Was hey hey? What's uh, in today's video? I will be showing you this um, amazing breakfast that I came across by accident, and I'm glad I came across it. It is um, quinoa instead of oatmeal. I know it sounds weird, I know, but before you judge it, I'm telling you, give it a try. It is so good, it's filling, and um, I usually, because my measurement, my spoons have kind of, kind of washed off. But I think that this is a half cup. I think. But either way, it's one half cup. But before we get anything started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I have this clip in my hair because I kind of separated. I did some finger coils in my hair using my flaxseed um, gel and this honey leave-in conditioner from Camille Rose. So I'm trying out new things because I'm not gonna have this in for too long, like this naturalness going on. I'm not gonna have it for too long. So I'm gonna do as much as I can, but healthy. And the main goal is to take care of my hair and prepare it for my locks, right? So, it's one cup to two cups of milk. So if, I don't think I wanna make that much. So half cup to one cup. Okay, okay, I got it. So it's half a cup, cause I'm making it solo for me. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can make for, for multiple days but i don't like leftovers i like stuff kind of fresh if i can so it's half cup of quinoa it doesn't matter what kind of quin i mean i've only tried the regular kind but i'm pretty sure you can use any kind this is the quinoa i have don't mind my nails i'm getting it done today but um i got that from kroger and what i'm gonna do is put it in a colander real quick and just like rinse it out um, I'm so used to rinsing out any kind of grain because I get that from my mom and my grandma. Okay, so once the quinoa is washed, um, just get a small pan, put that inside. Let me get a spoon because that's good. I'm rushing because I'm so hungry. Y'all saw my what I eat in a day and how that, um, I mean, I was being realistic. Like, usually that's how my day goes. And then I look at the time and I'm like, bro, you didn't even eat. Huh? Like, that's not cool. You gotta eat. So put this on the stove. And we're just gonna, like, toast it. Um, just to get all that water out. And while we do that, I'm going to show you the milk that I'm using. So you guys know that I am obsessed with the Khalifa, Khalifia Farms. I don't know if I'm saying it right. But this is the toasted co coconut, soy-free, gluten-free, dairy-free. Um, and I've been using this brand for ever. Mainly because I stopped drinking milk a long time ago. I don't remember what I watched. But what I watched, it like it kind of made sense. Like, okay, why we why milk milk? That milk is not made for us. So why are we why are we drinking it? So I'm gonna use about a cup of this. This is done. So I'm gonna get another cup. I'm prepared, sis. We we buy this. Here she goes. I'm gonna use a cup of that. Once my quinoa starts toasting, I'm gonna add that to that.
once you hear like a popping noise, you know that your quinoa has finished toasting. So this is what I mean. Just put it in a dry pan and just let it toast out. You see that water on the bottom? I'm trying to get rid of that and I just want it to toast a little bit. So once I finish toast, I'll come back. So my quinoa has toasted and I'm gonna add the milk. And remember, it's a cup to, ooh, it's a cup to any, every, this is what happened, I'm a klutz. It's a cup to every one cup and I use half a cup so I'm just gonna use a cup. And I'm gonna stir that. And then because this is supposed to be like a fake oatmeal, we have to add some kind of sweetness. So I'm gonna add, do better Shay. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of uh, maple syrup. And this is what I got. This is also a Kroger from Kroger. If you guys have a Kroger, the goat, I love Kroger. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon in there just to sweeten it up a bit. Put this on like a low heat. Bring to a, first bring to a boil. Stir all that goodness around. And also I forgot to add some salt. You might not think that salt is necessary, but trust me, it is. And um, I barely have any, but I'm just gonna add a pinch. I need to buy some more because I, I don't cook with salt but for certain things it's a necessity just to bring out the flavors so after about 15 minutes here is the quinoa I'm just gonna sit it to the side and let it cool a little bit and then get my fruit ready so today I'm going to use um, a banana some cinnamon if I could find it, yeah, right here. Cinnamon, some more maple syrup, cause I like some stuff sweet, and some walnuts. Oh my gosh, this is so fluffy. I want y'all to see it. Look how fluffy that is. Perfect. Ooh. I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all, hold on. Girl, look how good that look. Tell me that don't look good. Come on with it. Stop. Yo, stop playing with me. Look how good that look. Oh my God. I'm about to eat. But if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you wanna see more cooking videos and follow me on my health journey, put it in the description box below. It's a lifestyle, yo. It's a lifestyle. And sometimes it ain't easy, but we doing it. We doing it. Anyways, y'all. I love y'all so much for watching. See you later. Talk to you later, ladies. Crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad. Could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with